Hello, I'm Major General Jim Atkins, the Adjutant General of Maryland. I'd like to discuss the most underreported crimes in the military, which are sexual harassment and sexual assault. Sexual harassment and assaults are crimes that have no place in the Maryland National Guard. These crimes degrade our mission readiness by destroying unit cohesion and breaking the bond of trust that must exist between soldiers and airmen. Furthermore, it has an adverse and lasting impact on the victim and all the members of this agency. Sexual harassment and assault will not be tolerated in the Maryland National Guard. Sexual harassment is a form of discrimination that is unwelcome, offensive conduct of a sexual nature that makes someone uncomfortable or embarrassed. When submission to that unwelcome conduct is made a condition of employment and interferes with the ability to do the job or creates a hostile, intimidating work environment, it is an illegal activity. Every soldier, airman, federal and state employee is entitled to a work in an environment that is free from sexual harassment. All personnel deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. Commanders, managers, and supervisors are entrusted to provide a safe and professional work environment and have the responsibility to prevent sexual harassment. If you feel you have been subjected to sexual harassment, do not be afraid to approach your unit equal opportunity leader or your wing military equal opportunity office or contact the Equal Opportunity Employment Manager at 410-576-6045. They can give you the support to resolve any situation. Sexual assault is defined as intentional sexual contact characterized by the use of force, threats, intimidation, abuse of authority, or when the victim does not or cannot consent. If you have been sexually assaulted or think you have been, go to a safe location away from your attacker. Seek medical attention as soon as possible. Even if you do not have visible physical injuries, you may be at risk of acquiring a sexually transmitted disease. A victim of sexual assault should be aware that they can seek help and there are laws and regulations that protect them. They have the option to limit the release of their identity, but they must start by contacting their unit victim advocate, a chaplain, or the sexual assault response coordinator for the Maryland National Guard and military department Maryland National Guard leadership at every level will create and promote a positive climate to prevent sexual assaults. However, if confronted with an alleged incident, leaders must promptly report the crime to the local authorities. The Maryland National Guard and Maryland Military Department will not tolerate sexual harassment or sexual assault in the workplace. All personnel must be vigilant to recognize, prevent, and remedy these situations. This is not only an individual responsibility, but chain of command responsibility to monitor. Make sure you know your rights and responsibilities, and by doing that, we can remain relevant and ready. Finally, I would like to thank you for your service to our nation and state.